After months of battling Daesh, U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic Forces ousted the terror group in October from its self-declared capital in Raqqa. Soon after the liberation, SDF militants displayed posters of Abdullah Öcalan, the imprisoned former leader of the PKK terror group. It was a sign that many of the fighters who retook Raqqa were members of the YPG, the Syrian branch of the PKK. The U.S. considers the PKK as a terrorist organization, but it's been providing weapons and training to its Syrian affiliate. Unfortunately, some of our allies say we did not provide weapons to the terrorist organization, but we know, we see and monitor and have evidence that they are helping the terrorist organizations with weapons. Who are you cheating? These are all known facts. But he's had difficulty in persuading its NATO ally of links between the PKK and YPG. But putting the YPG under the umbrella of the SDF to avoid any obvious links to the PKK didn't prove that they were not related, just that it was all a carefully orchestrated branding exercise by the U.S. military. Now, interestingly, they came about that name because at one point in time, and I dealt with them directly, I, I was you know, on the formative stage of, of, of the relationship with these guys, uh, they formally called themselves the YPG, who the Turks would say equated to the PKK, you're dealing with a terrorist enemy of mine, uh, how, you know, how, how can you do that ally? So we literally played back to them, hey, you got to change your brand, you know, what, what, what do you want to call yourself besides the YPG? And with about a day's notice, they declared that they were the Syrian Democratic Forces. I thought it was a stroke of brilliance to put democracy in there somewhere, uh, <laughs> but it gave them a little bit of credibility. But that credibility had no legs with Turkey, and its patience is running thin. And with Operation Olive Branch underway, the YPG is now in the crosshairs of the Turkish military. Just the latest chapter in the already tense relationship between the United States and Turkey. But as long as the U.S. continues to deny the link between the PKK and the YPG and continues to support uh, this group, it's unlikely that relations between these two NATO allies will improve anytime soon. Ali Janayanlar. TRT World in Ankara.